hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC after login how to update or change the profile image I am logging with the jack credentials jack at gmail.com the password is 1111 login let's update a new profile image for the jack choose file from the desktop I'm selecting my image Charan update image and notice here we got a new profile image for the jack at gmail.com let's check in the database I'm executing that statement see here the user images before apple iphone is there now we got a charon.jpg now the final one will check the folder in the project solution explorer show all files see here the charon.jpg is added the old image apple iphone is deleted if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. If you are following my MVC tutorials, in my previous video I have showed how to create a registration form with upload user profile image and in the second video I have showed after login how to display the user email id and the user profile image. And this profile image is stored in the project folder and the image path is stored in the database now in this video i will show you how to update or change a user profile image let's get back to the coding part and this is the code we have just seen on the output after login we redirect to welcome page to display the user email id and the profile image now in this login control i am creating a new action result to change the profile image of the user so after action result welcome I'm creating a new action result public action result user image change return view now in this action result user image change when we are dealing with the files or images, we need to add the class HTTP posted file. File base file. I am creating a variable username is equals to now in this variable username, I am storing the session value just copy this one paste here so after adding this session value into this username if file is not equals to now and file dot content length is greater than zero string file name is equals to path dot get file name file dot file name string file path is equals to path dot combine method server dot map path which takes a string as a path here in the double quotes i'm adding the path the image folder so user images i click that one rename copy that one double slash i'm adding here comma i'm adding the file name this variable after that I am saving the image into this folder file dot save as file path 
up to here in the if condition I'm just uploading the images into this folder and now I need to update the image path in the database also this column user image instead of writing my connection string again I'm just copying this part and pasting here string SQL query is equals to here in the SQL query I'm writing the update statement update the table name is dbo.mvc user edge copy this one paste here set the column name is the the image path uimg paste here is equals to single quotes plus plus double quotes single quotes now between this plus plus I am adding the the user images the folder name make sure don't give any gaps here plus file dot file name plus with the column name here is a user email id copy this one paste here is equals to single quotes plus plus double quotes single quotes now between this plus plus i am adding the username which is a session variable SQL con dot open method SQL command SQL com is equal to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the command text and the second property is the, the connection variable SQL con copy this one and paste here SQL com dot parameters dot add with value the parameter name is the user image copy this one at user image comma the object value is a path name this one semicolon make sure don't give any gaps here sql com dot execute non query i'm adding the return redirect page return redirect to action the action name is a welcome page and the second one is a controller name which is a login this is a welcome page and this is a controller name I don't require the written view let's visit the welcome view page this one Now in this welcome view page I'm adding history tags update profile image horizontal line at using HTML dot begin form the begin form between double quotes the, the first parameter I'm adding the action result name which is user image change copy this one and pasting here comma second one is a controller name the controller name is a login controller login 
comma from method dot post new enct by p is equals to between double quotes multi part form data at html dot anti fraudulent token I'm adding the HTML upload file control input type is equals to file name is equals to file break I'm adding a button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to update image I'm closing the tag that's it we have done the coding part to update the profile user image now it's time to testing the results index.cshtml which is a login page Google Chrome I'm logging with the credentials check at gmail.com the password is 1111 login and we are successfully redirected to the welcome view page and here we got our file upload control and the upload image button I'm selecting the file to upload this to update this image file choose file the image I'm choosing Apple iPhone open update image and notice the user profile image has been updated successfully let's check in my database is the image path is changed or not when I execute this table let's see what the results we get execute see here jack at gmail.com apple iphone dot jpg and the next important one is is the actual image is added into the folder or not solution explorer show all files see here animal iphone dot jpg but notice in this user images folder still the animal 3.jpg is available let's write a code when we upload a new image we'll delete the old image of the user and stop debugging login control.cs use in the action result user image change string image path is equals to server dot map path now in this map path we need to get the old image so in the welcome page we already getting the old image temp data between double quotes I'm giving the old image is equals to I'm adding s here the s is this one and this string variable s is storing the image path come to bottom here in the server dot map path copy this one let's type cast string string file image path is equals to image path file info fi is equals to new file info which takes a variable of the file image path if fi dot exists if the file exists fi dot delete method 
that's what we have done to delete the file from a folder before run this program go to solution explorer let's delete this animal3.jpg we don't require anymore now we got the apple iphone.jpg which is a user profile for the jack now i want to upload the user jack image profile index.cshtml which is a login page google chrome yeah. i'm logging with the jack credentials jack at gmail.com the password is 1111 login let's update a new profile image for the jack choose file from the desktop I'm selecting my image, Charan, update image. And notice here we got a new profile image for the jack at gmail.com. Let's check in the database. I'm executing that statement. See here, the user images before Apple iPhone is there. Now we got a Charan.jpg. Now the final one will check the folder in the project. Solution Explorer, show all files. See here, the charan.jpg is added. The old image, Apple iPhone is deleted. That's it.